Hello, everyone. Welcome to Single Deal to Player Forever Alone. Um, a romantic evening of music, alone or not. Um, you may notice in a lot of the music that I am about to play um, that I'm an Italophile. Everything is Italian except for one piece. Um, I'm playing mostly Campagnoli etudes and some um, compositions by Antonio Rolla and by Alessandro Rolla. Um, and Italian music is known for being dramatic. So through this, I'd like to play romantic music that happens to also describe many of the feelings associated with love. Um, so, or romance. Um, so some of the music is slow and affectionate, some of it is piney, excited, nervous, declarative. Um, I've even found one in particular that reminds me of um, rose-colored glasses. Um, those come off really fast for me. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, it's as though the lover sings the same story about how they love this person, um, of how lovely their soulmate is, but they have to exaggerate and make excuses and... Um, I'll I'll point out which one it is that I I am talking about when I get to it. Um, they're all relatively short pieces. It's thirty minutes of music. Um, I'm doing some. I want to do short recitals so that I mean, tw an hour and a half of music is a bit much anymore. <laughs> um, so thirty minutes is good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So. Yeah, uh, in that piece, they have to break their back convincing people that this is the love of their life, uh, but then the rose glasses come off at the end, and boy, do I know that feeling. <laughs> um, so the first piece I'm going to play, though, is Ideles Number 1 by Alessandro Roa. <laughs> Thank you. 
did a simple one by Rola, uh, Alessandro Rola. I figure I'm saying by Antonio Rola as well. But next is going to be Caprice number 28 with Paolo Campagnoli. And this is rose colored glasses breaking that story. <laughs> This is one of few composers that have composed for a viola. <coughs> Thank 
Lots of this is Campagnoli, um, his caprices. Um, let's see, I was going to say, oh, I wanted, whoop, that's a good thing. Let's see, I wonder. Yeah, I had a feeling the voice is probably coming through really quiet because otherwise my viola will be um, kipping a lot. I'm afraid to mess with my levels much. I wonder if this is okay. Also, did the video stop? <laughs> um, and I'm back in case it went away. <laughs> I'll remember to speak a bit louder. Um, oh, I was saying I wanted to include... Awesome, it's working again. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know if any of that got cut, but um, I wanted to include the program and what I'm saying, um, amongst other things, but I don't know how to do that. So, I might figure that out for next time, but until then, I'm going to just upload this onto YouTube next when I'm done, and I'll have everything there um, written the program not that it's very informative but anyway i'm going to yeah in any case moving on to um da, 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 da. campagnoli caprices numbers nine and ten Thank you. 
This is the last one for tonight. Uh, da -da -da -da, number four. Venus 
de Miento. Um, I'll have to look that up, but I'll look into it. Thank you for mentioning it, Moika. Uh, I don't know that one, so I'll have to look it up. Um, but maybe. So for now, I will play uh, Caprice number 26 by Campagnoli. <laughs> Esercizio due by Rola, if I can organize this in such a way. I'll have to look up the, oh, that you're talking about Devil's Trill. I actually need to work on that one. Um, it's a violin piece, uh, Giuseppe Tartini. Um, I can look that up and I'll, I bet I'll play it in a future recording uh, live stream. Thank you for all of your um, recommendations. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Uh, next though, I'll be playing uh, Rola. I do love Italian composers, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So thank you for watching so far, um, <clears throat> and thank you for your comments. Please tell me which ones that you really liked. Um, I wish I was able to um, take requests while I was on live stream, but I've I spent a couple of weeks preparing this. It took me a little bit of time to prepare music, um, and then also figuring out accompaniment and working together with other musicians because like I don't want to just play like because like with the devil's trill I mean that's a company and it's it's really empty just I, why like without piano at least <laughs> uh, so thank you for your your comments and uh, recommendations um, but so I'm a violinist and a violist. This is my viola, by the way, so that makes things even harder. <laughs> um, and I teach and I play um, piano a little bit too. I teach a little bit. Um, so I'm working on doing these live streams once a month or so. Um, and I'm really happy because I finally have a good webcam working. I finally have my audio stuff working. Hello, Mike. <laughs> um, so it's a lot better than what I've done so far. <laughs> um, and let's see. I'm also working on putting up more videos, like Five Minutes with Chris, where I like teach. I'm, I have a practice series that I'm working on, um, like five minutes of like I'm my next video is stretching. And my last video was talking about making goals for practice and uh, general tips for practice. Um, I also would love to just talk about like Devil's Trill. Um, yeah, lots of people don't know violin music. Um, and I, I find it really sad. I went to college um, and I have my bachelor's of music um, in performance on the viola. So, I mean, I had to spend two years studying um, different music history um, 
and learning all these different pieces. I still, there's still so much repertoire that I don't know about. I recently discovered um, some duet spirola. I didn't know they existed until a month ago. Um, <laughs> so I'm happy to, I, I, this is my goal really is to expose everyone and, and make it um, enjoyable and not an hour and a half of I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, so I'm doing these little themes tonight, of course, is Valentine's Day, um, forever alone. <laughs> um, and let's see, da -da -da -da. I have notes <laughs> that I'm not following very well. Da -da 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 -da. So in any case, if you've enjoyed my performance so far and you like my commentary and my, my everything, um, I'd really appreciate any kind of contribution you can make. And right now I don't have anything set up at the moment. I'll figure that out because I did first time on Twitch. It's great. I love it. YouTube sucks. <coughs> what? <coughs> um, and yeah, so I really appreciate any help, comments, likes, shares, subscriptions um, so far as following what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah. So the last two pieces I'll play are... Uh, one piece that I've written in the last year, um, and then one more Caprice by Campagnoli. So the piece that I wrote in Japanese is, because I was in Japan, I wrote it in Japan, um, Aishiteru Soretemo, which is close to He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. Um, so while I was writing this, um, I was imagining a rose and, uh, or a flower, whatever. And you know, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. Um, and so I tried to paint the picture of petals falling and um, plucking the petals. Uh, so, and I surprised, let's see, you wouldn't, so I did write this as a love letter and You'd be surprised the number of love letters there are in music, fictional or not. Like writing in an opera, there are tons of those. Tons of operas have, like my favorite, um, in Rossini's uh, Il Barbiere di Sevilla, when Count Almaviva serenades Rosina. Um, I think that's beautiful. And then there are not fictional ones. There are ones that there, there are pieces that composers have written to give to people that they love. <laughs> and then they're all unrequited, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> um, Beethoven wrote Fur Elise. And apparently there's some contention on who that was actually for, because the translation is literally Fur Elise. <laughs> but it, there, there's some contention, and I was reading a little bit on it. My point being, though, he wrote this love letter and then was promptly rejected. <laughs> um, so I understand your feeling, Beethoven, because this happened to me too, three times, but. Oh, another one of my favorite love letters is actually from Baroque, the Baroque era by, I think it was Michelle. Um, it's called Rose Liz Printemps. And Baroque music is really interesting for a number of reasons. And like you can play the music that he wrote on any combinations of instruments that you want. It wasn't written for a particular combination. It just had to have a certain category of instruments. But more on that another time, maybe five minutes with crits. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, I steru demo.
music, but I wasn't sure how well that would go with me doing that by myself. Not to mention that I'm, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe in May, I figured that would be appropriate, and I have time to learn. So, we'll see. I was thinking dances, though, but we'll see. Um, how, do tangos count? <laughs> uh, I love playing tangos, but let's see. Number 40. <laughs> Be bitter. 